Kiva, are you ready to roll? Yes, I'm ready. All right, please tell me how I can manage my time. <laughs> I hope this session will be very useful for everyone in this room. So, here we go. Let me share my screen with all of you. And turn off my camera. Well, thank you so much, everybody, to join me this evening. I'm so happy to share with you my knowledge, my experience in this event. We will talk about, about the power to manage time hidden in Microsoft 365 tools. But before to start, I want to thank, as Ed said, to the uh, partners and uh, the sponsors of this uh, amazing event. Without their uh, help, without their, their support, we can have this kind of events. It's very important the uh, participation of the communities and the, all the people that uh, donate their time to organize this kind of events. Thank you so much, Ed, to moderate this evening, uh, this room. For the people who uh, don't know me, uh, or never met me in person, I'm Fatima Blancas. I'm Mexican, and I'm passionate uh, to talk about technology and education. I received the recognition as a Microsoft MVP two years ago, and I'm very happy to uh, contribute in the communities. I'm also the CEO and founder of IT Proof. We are a company in Mexico City. I've been learning and working from SharePoint uh, to 27 to SharePoint Online, Office 365, Power Platform, some of Azure, and of course, Microsoft Teams. That's the tool that I really love in, in the other uh, lands that we have. I really love Teams. You can uh, join me on Twitter with this uh, user, or you can contact with me through LinkedIn using this uh, username. But have you ever forgotten anything important? Have you missed an appointment with somebody or anybody important uh, for your organization, for your job, for your goals? Well, I have news for you. The bad news is time flies. The good news is you are the pilot. You can control the information in your agenda. You can um, be sure that your information is good enough to control your activities in the whole week, in the month, in the whole year. So today's plan is um, talking about these um, topics. First of all, about the goals of the sessions, then who this session is talking with, because this is not exactly um, a technical session. I want to be clear about the people that I uh, expecting to um, this information will be help, helpful. We will talk about the Microsoft 365 em environment and how the tools can combine their um, scope and how you can uh, distribute your information uh, around all of those. We will see some demos about how you can control your information, your tasks, your plans. And at the end, I prepared a bonus tips and tricks um, to share with you my experience and how I uh, did this kind of um, control in my daily basis. Then, the goals of this session is to identify the different differences among Microsoft 365 tools. Because as you know, you have many tools into your subscription. It depends on your licensing. If you uh, have the um, basic uh, licensing, you also will uh, have the tools that uh, we will talk about this uh, evening. 
we will uh, uh, talk about how can you uh, decide which of these tools is better for your activities, the uh, demo that we will uh, run, and of course, the bonus divided in personal task and the teammate task. This session was prepared for the people who have struggles to get their commitments every month or uh, um, uh, in a week, or you know, sometimes the, the day is um, very short to uh, make all the things that you want to, to do. So this session is for you. If you are a leader, not exactly a project manager, it's not necessary to be a project manager to uh, use these kind of tools. This session will um, review some features that you can use very easy through this environment um, behind the Microsoft 365. And of course, for everyone who loves to discover new and easy uh, way to do things. Well, the task into the Microsoft uh, 365 ecosystem. Well, as you know, we have two, um, two tools as task engines, maybe you uh, see, you have, you've been seeing this kind of tools, to do or planner. These are uh, task engines because you can store your task here. You can uh, insert your information, uh, you know, when you have to um, record or save some information about your task. This information have the same, uh, almost the same, the name, a due date, maybe somebody that uh, you want to follow up the activity. Then you can use these tools, but you have other tools as task hubs to control the information, to collaborate with others, and use the information that you saved in your engines through the Outlook uh, features and through the team's capabilities. All of those work together to show you the information that you are uh, saving to help you to not missing anything. Well, we will see the first demo about fast engines. You can use Microsoft To Do in the desktop app. If you have a Office 365 subscription, you have a view like this. You can install your um, apps using this option. You know, if you uh, have some uh, preference to work in the browser, uh, you will find many of the um, features that we will talk about today. But in my case, I prefer to use the, um, the tools using the desktop option. For me, it's better, but it's not um, the same for everyone. Uh, as I said, Microsoft To Do have different lists uh, prepared out of the box, in out of the box mode. For example, in English My Day, important, planned, um, flagged emails, you know, sometimes you receive something important and you decide to uh, mark this, this uh, mail like uh, something that you want to follow up. You can use this kind of uh, flags to uh, put this uh, flag for a, a next uh, activity. I will use this, for example, for tomorrow. This um, flag um, will appear into my activities, like flagged mails. I have many, I know, because I uh, have these activities separated by uh, time you can decide how to uh, use this uh, different kind of sorts. 
for example, order this information or sort this information by um, due date, for example. Or for example, like um, when I created this, it's very easy. But in the common days, you will add some important uh, things that you, uh, you don't want to miss. Then, for example, if I have new idea, I can insert new idea for 2022 projects. I recommend to you to include a due date. It's very important, for example, tomorrow. If you uh, really want to not uh, forget about this, you can insert a reminder for this uh, task, for example, the same tomorrow, or I can uh, choose a different uh, time and different date and different time. For example, I want to uh, get a reminder at 9 a.m. Making the check mark and saved. And then I only uh, press enter to record this uh, task. As I said, this task will appear in the other uh, tools that we will uh, see this afternoon. But now let me show you the other um, task engine planner. I want to make um, an advice, a piece of advice here. Planner is a very useful tool, but re remember, if you create a plan from here, from the um, browser using your tools, the list of your tools into your subscription, Planner will open all the plans that you uh, are part of it, of those. Then, if you use this option, new plan to create this, you have to control the people that um, will have access to this information. And sometimes you can um, sensitive information, save it here. You don't want to uh, expose this kind of a uh, task that you want to follow up. So it's better to use the option to um, create plans using Microsoft Teams. We will show you Sorry, I will show you this uh, option in the next um, part of this explanation, but I want to uh, make uh, a difference, explain the difference between Microsoft To Do and Planner. But it's important to explain to you why I want to create a new plan here. I will only take a plan that I have to explain to you how it works. It's um, very similar to uh, the to-do um, mode in how you can uh, create task. You can enter a task name, task one, a project. You can set a due date, is better. You can assign here, this is the, um, Principal of the first differences between Microsoft To Do. If you remember, I didn't insert nobody to uh, follow up this activity. In, out of the box, I'm the uh, owner of this uh, activity. In case uh, of planner, I have to um, assign somebody to follow up this, this activity, this task. And when you are ready, you only need to add the task. In Planner, you will have different buckets that you can customize as you want. In this case, I uh, insert an A, for example, first quarter, oh, yeah, but I can uh, change the name, for example, um, completed. Um, or wherever you want. You can drag and drop your task 
you can insert more information into the, these tasks to complete the uh, information that your colleagues, your team members need to um, identify to control or to complete this task. It's very easy. You can change the bucket also here. You can uh, change the progress. I like this part, the progress. You don't need to save the information, but it's easy. You only need to have in mind how you uh, want to do, how you, um, what you want to organize, what is the information of your project, or in case of to do, if you have something in mind in the middle of the traffic, you can uh, have this tool installed in your uh, mobile phone. Then you only need to open Microsoft To Do and insert your um, activity. To, uh, as I said, to uh, not to forget anything. When you have some time at the next day, you can uh, complete the information or change the task for the list that you uh, prefer. To Do allows you to create different uh, lists. This list can be customized as you need and can be shared also. If you uh, have, for example, um, a grocery shopping list, you can have this kind of information in your cell phone and insert all your uh, things to, to buy and insert everything that you uh, have in mind in the middle of your day. In this case is uh, to complete information or to follow up some activities with your team members. Think in this kind of differences. It's not um, uh, exactly, um, it's not necessary that you use planner only to um, share information with your colleagues. Also, you can use a plan only with you. You can create a team or you can create a plan and uh, not to share this information with nobody. That could be possible. If you like this uh, interface and you want to uh, make some uh, practices, some tests about how it works, also is possible too. But um, before we move on, then we will uh, see the demo, the task hubs. The task hubs, I really love this part. I have opened this uh, option, but let me show you. When you have opened your Outlook, Sometimes you need to change between the calendar, between the mail, between the um, different uh, uh, activities that you need to uh, control in a whole day. Then you can use your agenda and um, allow the view to uh, show the task using view to do bar and um, show the task into the toolbar. Here it is. You can arrange the information um, using different categories, start date, due date, folders, type, importance. Uh, um, the information that you insert in your task will be available through this um, kind of uh, sorts. For example, uh, this idea, new activity to follow up. Sometimes when you need to create or uh, to uh, control your agenda, sometimes it's, uh, uh, some of our blank space need to be um, filled because the people, uh, when you uh, are free, sometimes they insert activities. Uh, your team uh, members are um, try to find some space when you are available. Then if you can want to control this kind of blank space at the beginning of your day, you uh, can display this information and only drag and drop your activities. 
remember, we uh, create this kind of activities in our example. If you select this uh, activity, you can make the common um, changes like uh, control the hour, uh, control the time, change the date, invite somebody to uh, follow up this, this activity. Oh, close, close. For example, I will invite myself and um, you can send the information and then uh, I will send it without location. Yes, send anyway. And then you uh, can complete these kind of activities using your list. For me, it's very useful to show my task pendings and only drag and drop the activities. But remember, this is to create um, a meeting, a new appointment in your calendar. If you complete this activity, you need to return to Microsoft To Do and select this activity as completed. At the end, who don't want uh, or like to mark task as completed? I really like to do that. Don't you? Then let me show you the next um, power hidden into these tools. I will move on to Microsoft Teams. I have opened my task by planner because I really use this, this tool. But imagine if you are seeing your different themes. If you click on these three dots at the end of your menu in the left uh, part, you can find this um, app task by planner. And it will share you share with you the information that is saved in your to do and in your uh, plan plans of the planners that are created in every team that it uh, shared with you. As I uh, have many of those, I have many, many plans because I have plans for with every um, team. Remember, um, I mentioned something about a planner. I said to you that it's better if you, if you don't create the uh, plan from this option. Why? Because behind the scenes, Microsoft 365 controls the information using uh, Office 365 groups. If you create the plan here, you should to insert the people that uh, will be uh, available to see this plan. If you use your teams, all the teams that you have here, it doesn't matter if you uh, have this uh, information uh, shared with others. You know who uh, is the people that working on these uh, activities. Then you only need to select a channel. It's very easy. Select the uh, plus mark and use your task by planner. It's almost the same, but in this case, Microsoft Teams will cre uh, create the group or will uh, take the group that is included in their own com um, configuration. You can create a new plan or you, you can use an existing plan, but behind the scenes, you don't uh, have to be worried about who is the people that uh, will have access to this plan. You decided before who is the people that are sharing information with you using this team. Then it's so easy, task, Microsoft 365, Chicago 2022, I will save this plan and Microsoft Teams will make all the configuration needed to complete this. I prefer this uh, way because the sensitive information is not compromised because I miss 
to uh, insert somebody or I insert somebody that uh, didn't uh, have to be uh, there, not, not have to be there. This is a new one. You can add tasks, change the buckets. Remember, you can see the information. I will uh, share this. I will change the plan for a new plan that uh, have activities recorded yet, because I want to share with you that you can change the um, displayed mode that you are using. You can uh, see your task as a list, like in To Do, if you like that uh, view. You can see the information like a board. Remember, in this uh, option, you can drag and drop your uh, activities. You can see the information like chart to identify in which buckets are uh, task completed or not started or whatever. You can uh, see the information by priority, by members that uh, are working on these uh, activities. Or if you prefer, you can use the view like a schedule. It doesn't matter if you uh, like this. Also, you can include this view into your Outlook. You can see this information. Oh, let me, oh, 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 I don't want this. No, 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 please, I make a mistake. I don't want to see the all my calendars, only the first, sorry. And as I was saying, you can see your calendars here. You can uh, insert the information. For example, I will look for um, all of those are uh, planners that I have inserted because I need to follow up. Are many of those, but is the same that you are seeing here. Remember, Teams. It's um, an interface that uh, was designed to um, save your time, to um, make you more efficient, wasting less time. And if you don't need to uh, switch from a window and window and uh, change your information between different teams, you will save many time. Then let me uh, return to task by planner because it's amazing where, uh, how many information you can uh, identify here. Your task included in to do with all your uh, list, the list that you customized, the list that uh, are included in to do by out of the box, and your shaded plans. All your shaded plans are here. All are here. Do you remember? I created a task of Microsoft 365 uh, Chicago, and here it is. You don't need to change your um, window to control your activities, to review your agenda for next days. And it will be very useful, trust me. You can save many time if you use this view to control your activities, to change the activities, to complete the activities, to follow up who is working in uh, which uh, plans, in every plan that you are working on, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, this is only uh, the information that only need this kind of tools is that you insert your task, that you create your plans. That's the important part. If you don't uh, create tasks, if you don't create plans or assign activities some, to somebody, this tool can uh, make uh, more magic. All the capabilities that you can um, explode are included, but it needs your, your time. So let me continue.
Oh, we um, are ready for the bonus tips and tricks about the personal and teammates activities. Oh, I really love this part. First of all, let me show you the personal activities. If you have a, a subscription that include bookings and you never um, take a look of what uh, this, uh, how this uh, tool works, I recommend to you to take a look. I have prepared uh, my own agenda, but let me let me uh, show you a little uh, tour from this uh, this tool. This tool uh, was uh, intent or is intended to uh, control the information in a small business, for example, a saloon or a um, doctor or a veterinarian. You know the. Um, a small business that need to uh, have uh, the information of the appointments with their customers. And nowadays, the people sometimes uh, want to uh, create their own um, appointment. They ask sometimes to um, make their own reservation. This tool is uh, designed to do that to allow your customers in a small business to have an uh, um, opportunity to create their own uh, appointments. But if you create your own um, agenda, your own calendar, as I uh, did with my name, you can create uh, a new. Let me uh, show you, you only need to insert the business name, the business type, it's, it's very easy. I really recommend to you to uh, um, see some of the videos of the other MVPs that share how to work a complete uh, plan with your um, bookings app. But in this case, I have uh, my business information as a, a Fatima Blanca's agenda. I decided to allow the people only to make uh, appointments with me on Monday from, from 30 to 6. I know that I'm only available in mornings on Tuesday. In Wednesdays, I only available um, at the afternoons, but I don't want to uh, receive appointments before uh, my meal or my lunch. On Thursdays, it's the same. I only uh, want to uh, stay available uh, from 2 to 6. And on Fridays, I uh, allow the people to have some time in the morning and uh, one hour on uh, afternoons. In Saturdays, I'm closed and uh, Sundays always closed. They can't uh, select these uh, days. You can insert currency if you want to. Uh, make charges for somebody to have an appointment with you, but it's not in my case. I uh, select or insert some services. This services is only like, um, it's a field, it's a, a feature included in bookings, but you can customize these uh, services as a meeting. I inserted a meeting uh, from one hour, um, meeting for 30 minutes, if somebody wants to propose to me new ideas, or if somebody uh, wants to ask for a consultant. So uh, they can decide in one of those. I uh, set these services with price, not price uh, set. In the staff, I uh, didn't insert nobody, only me, because I am the only person that I'm available in this, in this case. If you are a, a company, you can insert more people. This is the people that uh, ask me for a meeting. All of those have been um, registered their own uh, appointment with me. And I have uh, the information that they uh, registered in this appointment. 
And this is the, the tip. You can copy this link and share with the people this information. Obviously, you can customize the colors, your um, picture, or wherever you prefer. This uh, link could be inserted in Facebook, in uh, your social media, or your uh, website, or wherever you prefer. But the people will see this kind of, oh, sorry, sorry. I will open from here. This is the view of the people, the public view. Sometimes um, we don't know that these kind of uh, tools are available into Microsoft 365. That's why I uh, named this session hidden, uh, tools hidden in Microsoft 365. Because I saw many people using other tools that uh, make the same like this, but outside of their um, subscription in the other um, um, providers. So uh, that's what I want to share with you this uh, tip. The people that have this, uh, imagine if I met somebody in a conference, if I need to make an appointment, but in this time we don't have enough time to uh, decide which day is better for us. You can only share this uh, link and tell them, um, don't worry, select the time that is better for you. And the most important part, the, the part that I really like is that if they select, for example, an appointment for an hour, for example, next Thursday, um, 27. This information is crossed with my agenda in Outlook. I have uh, activities for this day. I'm uh, busy in at two and at three from for Terry. Then this is not available for them. If you remember. In my business information, I have availability from 2 to 6 p.m. But um, this tool is uh, reviewing the information, uh, the information that uh, is um, available in my agenda. Let me open again. And allow the people to select only the information that is really available for me. Obviously, they need to add the details and book the uh, session, the appointment with me. This is the bonus trip for personal activities. You can uh, control your agenda. In the other uh, providers, you have to match your account and you have to, it's almost the same, but as I said, if you are paying, a subscription, you uh, can explode all your uh, power hidden here. And the other tip, this is only available for admins. If you are a leader, especially in those days with the pandemia around the world, sometimes you uh, have been thinking, in the middle of the uh, night, if you uh, can to create an appointment with your team, but it's very late to ask them if they are available. So you don't need to ask them. You can um, configure their information as your uh, team members. This is my real team. They uh, report to me their activities. The trick is that you change the information in your Active Directory. That's what I said, that it's only available for admins of your uh, subscription. If you are not the admin, you can ask your admin to make this change. You can take them, uh, the user, wherever uh, the user is, and change this information, manager. As you can see in this case, uh, 
she has no manager, but you can add somebody that are part of your company. That's uh, very important because if you select somebody outside of your company, you don't see this, this information. For example, I will insert here my name, my account. I will save the changes. And when I restart my Outlook, she will appear here. Remember, I was saying, if you need to ask them if they are available, but it's not time to ask them, not on Friday after 6 p.m. It's not a good time to ask nobody in your team if they are available. Then you can only uh, check this uh, agenda and Outlook will um, allow to see you to see how, um, how many activities they uh, have compromised. You can uh, separate your agendas or you can mix them to be sure where uh, the availability is uh, overlap. But if your um, team members, your teammates share their agendas with you, you can also see the information into their activities. As you can see in the case of Andrea, she shared with me their, um, her uh, agenda using this option, share calendar. As um, this uh, agenda is shared with me, I can see all the information, but Rosa didn't share this information with me. So I can see their visit time but not the sensitive information. Maybe these uh, activities are um, related with something personal. And uh, it's, uh, it's fine that not see this, this kind of sensitive information, but it's very useful. If I need to include, for example, um, Monica, I can mix all of our um, agendas and select the availability form uh, that is better for all of us. I really love this uh, trick. Well, to keep in mind, um, I recommend to you to schedule all your events that you have at your date. If you know that uh, you have a, an event, if you have a compromise with a uh, your customers with uh, some projects that's the most important part then insert all of those in your agenda second at the end of your day spend two or three times to organize your tomorrow activities this is very important i prefer to do this at the end of my day but some sometimes the people prefer to do this at the beginning of the day before to start reading anything in uh, their emails, they take these two or three minutes to organize their today activities. And three, before close your work week, for example, today, Friday, or on Sunday or Saturday, take 50 minutes to plan your next week. Insert your commitments, insert some time to uh, send pending message, pending emails, to reply pending emails, and try to identify the blank space to write down to a specific task. This is uh, my recommendation to you to uh, increase your um, expectation about your goals, to um, have a, a, in mind your all your information, to don't lose lost your precious time, but important. If you write down something in your agenda, don't miss it. Please don't miss it. This is a commitment with yourself. It's very important that you respect your agenda. Well, this is time for questions and answers. If somebody wants to ask, uh, you can't um, raise your hand in the chat. We have no 
Yep, thank you very much. Uh, anybody that would like to ask a question, please raise your hand um, and uh, I will uh, unmute you so that you can ask your question. Maybe don't. <laughs> anybody, anybody? I was very clear then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I picked up a, a few good tips, so thank you very much. Um, uh, uh, my my entire I, pleasure. I, yeah. I'm really enjoyed to uh, participate in this event. It's amazing to uh, see how the power of the communities can create. Yeah. And I just had a, a client ask me uh, the day before yesterday about uh, the bookings app, and I'd never take. Uh, I still haven't taken a look at it yet. So it was it was nice to see you uh, uh, dive into that a little bit too. It's it's amazing the power uh, behind the, the booking uh, app is is impressive that yep. you can do. You only well, need a, a, yeah. a, now, an now I know what my weekend will be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right. So well, th thank you uh, very much, uh, Fatima, for your time and sharing your knowledge. Uh, much appreciated. Um, uh, please, everybody. Uh, there's um, uh, links to the uh, feedback that we would please beg you to fill out. Only way we can get better is if we know where we need to improve. Uh, so please fill that out for each of the sessions that you've attended and then also, also for the conference as a whole. Uh, please remember our sponsors and uh, thank them for making this all possible. And um, uh, remember that there were some drawings and such and announcements in the general channel as far as who won. So you might want to take a peek in there. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, about wraps it up. So uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, be well and be safe. Stay warm. Have a great weekend or, or cool off if you happen to be in a hot climate <laughs> right now uh, up here in Chicago. It is a little chilly. So, uh, but thanks everybody. Uh, really appreciate your attendance and uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Ed. And see you soon. Thank Stay you. in touch and be, let your comments, uh, share your comments with us. Bye. Thanks, everyone.